Oh my god, mates, the last couple days of Paragon have been insane. Especially the Paragon new scene, because we have so much new content coming to the game very soon. There's going to be a new hero teaser, the actual teaser trailer, and also some new skins that were released recently into Paragon. We're going to cover that all within this episode. Welcome, mates, on Bloodthirsty Lord by Yingobi Lordy, and we're back on Paragon once again. There's some more gameplay in the background, but that obviously isn't the main topic. Instead, it's the stuff that we talked about at the very start, because, oh my god, guys, when I heard about this and saw this, it was insane, and sadly I couldn't report it in as quick as possible because obviously we're doing studies and I had to focus on that while also focusing on other parts of my life so I couldn't really upload, sorry about that. I know you guys like seeing daily uploads so we try our best to bring them back as per usual. Sometimes it might stop but obviously there's problems and obstacles in the way but we're going to try our best to push through those. And that is why we're making another YouTube video for today because I'm excited to do another one of these videos especially when it's with amazing news and content about to get released into the game. And that's going to start off with first the stuff that's already released into the game, version 39.2, we got the Shell Shock gadget skin. Finally, it got released into the game. If you want to purchase it, it's around a thousand coins, and obviously, it's a tier 2 skin, so spot on good work from Epic Games and Paragon team. Obviously, it did take a, a bit of time to actually release the skin, and everyone was complaining about no gadget skins, where's that gadget skin from the open beta event, and now we actually have it in game, and everyone's enjoying it, so that's great to see. Also, two little things that happened within this update, or will be happening in the next couple of updates, is you'll be able to purchase stuff with your rep, so if you have a lot of rep, you're able to use that reputation for something very useful, and that could be buying a particular skin or skin variation. I think that is the idea they're gonna go for, so that's gonna be really great to see, because everyone is complaining, we have all this rep, and it's completely irrelevant when you can just craft nearly every kind of the game that you want, and then it just serves no purpose, so that's kind of awkward. But now, it looks like there'll be another purpose for reputation, and that is great. And the other change that is already live, Loot Crates will no longer contain rep boost or XP boost, and that's great to hear because obviously, those are like duplicates. You can keep getting them every time you open a loot crate. I've had this other account, I've been opening loot crates like crazy there for particular skins for skin spotlight, and my god, mates. It is hell when you see all those rep bonuses and XP bonuses. Sometimes to get that particular skin that you want, all that skin variation, it can legit take one hour of non-stop opening. That is insane. Both in the cash wasted and obviously the time wasted. I'm not a big fan of the rep boost and XP boost, so I'm really happy that that is gone and obviously it will no longer affect the loot crate system. Maybe the loot crate system will have some better RNG luck and you obviously get some of those legendary skins that you want to use in Paragon instead of a mastery page that you can buy with your reputation. Enough about version 39.2, it's already live. Let's talk about the new juice information that just got released a couple days ago and yesterday and will get released later tonight, mates. Let's move on to the first piece of information about the new hero, Revenant which we knew about one month ago, so that's really great that we're seeing more images, teasers and stuff about him before he gets released later next week because there's so much heart behind this character being the next marksman, next ranger in the game that falls into the carry potential role and he does sound pretty darn amazing and we don't know his abilities yet. Actual confirmed ability, we know the data mine information about it. If you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description below. Watch that so you get some idea of what Revenant's data mine abilities are and his kit because they are really interesting. Pretty much, data mine is leaked information from the patches from Paragon, and that's how we found out about Revenant's kit and abilities, and they do sound good. So, recently, the hype train for Revenant did swing back into action with a new hero teaser pick or image that was released on Twitter with the caption of there's a new hero in town hashtag every three weeks and obviously this is the new hero Revenant and the way he looks right now he's got a Wild West vibe alongside Nightcrawler that is the feel I'm getting right now from this one image it is bloody insane you got that smoke and misty effect around him and his hat obviously the hat having some type of markings and his hands not being any type of human hand so that's really interesting that he's falling into some type of creature made from the realm he comes from because obviously this guy has the ability to switch into realms in some type of way or go from one realm to the other so maybe that's how he has that skill through some type of ability of his species we don't know but it's really interesting right now and I really like the design of this character just by looking at its hats and the scarf he does have and his hand and also some of his shoulder pads followed up by his collar that you can see right there. Pretty darn sick. He does remind me of Smoke, McCree and Jin and Nightcrawler. Those are all the four things I can think of right now that it reminds me of. Kind of awkward, but I know. It would be sick to see something like Nightcrawler in Paragon, just teleporting everyone, killing, oh my god, mates. Insane. <laughs> then we move on to the next piece of information, which is the new hero teaser trailer and the caption of 
who shot first, hashtag every three weeks. And this is really interesting because you do see Revenant's in-game model followed up by this like dark scheme of the map, which is pretty cool. I like that dark color with that similar moonlight just coming towards Revenant. I feel like that's maybe the new weather system that we're going to get into Paragon very soon through Monolith. They're going to have a night and day cycle. That would be pretty sick if they're trying to hint that out with this trailer. Thank God they are doing so because I, that's why I picked up on. If not, kind of sad because I want to see something like that in the future. But within this trailer or the teaser trailer, you see Murdoch just coming out of nowhere trying to hunt down Revenant. Why is that happening? There must be some type of connection. No way. Murdoch just pulls out his gun and is ready to buckshot the hell out of Revenant. No way, mates. And out of nowhere, you get this dark scene of Revenant pulling out his gun from his holster. And this gun is a pistol with four barrels, mates. That is crazy. The only character in the game that we know that has more than one barrel in his gun is Twin Blast. He has two barrels in his pistols, which are pretty darn cool. But then this guy has four in one of his pistols. Oh my god, guys. Insane mates. And also, if we keep paying attention towards the pistol, it reminds me of Affinity's old abilities with Paragon, like the icon that you see in-game. That is kind of weird. I feel like this gun is meant especially for him to use. Do you think that he's going to have some type of passive which contains like four shots? And once he reloads that gun, his first shot from his barrel is able to do immense damage or insane damage towards that target with max health damage and all that interesting mechanics. That would be pretty cool to see in game because another mobile League of Legends did that with their character called Jin and it worked out pretty well. And I'm guessing Paragon is going for the same idea. Maybe. We don't know. But there's kind of interesting idea for having four barrels in one pistol. There must be a better reason or some type of reason why they've done that. And if they go for the idea that we just mentioned, it kind of makes sense because the data mine and leaked information kind of represents that idea. Because it does mention something about mark damage increase and reveal enemies, something interesting about that. And obviously we can see more about that in the future when they do release the hero trailer, which is coming up very soon, mates. So get ready for that. Also, there isn't too much lore about this character. Nothing was revealed yet, nothing. Except for that bit of information we had one month ago, which is pretty much really secretive. There's not too much revealed there, except that he can move from realm to realm or do something that like that, which is quite interesting. I like that mechanic or that idea for this character. So my guess is he's some type of criminal lord or some badass criminal within Paragon. And obviously, Murdoch being a part of the OPD with Lieutenant Belka is going to hunt down Revenant. That could be one possibility. The second possibility is within Murdoch's background information or lore, it did mention this very unique fact and let's get into it hasn't worked with the partners since the incident what is this incident we never got further information about this factor maybe that incident happened with revenant murnock and revenant were partners and something went wrong between them and there was a some type of betrayal and that is why murnock hasn't worked from a partner ever since because of that incident that'd be pretty darn awesome so that is the second possibility of the law of revenant and murnock having that law connection also if we go back to the caption of that new hero teaser who shot first, that is kind of interesting. Was there something that happened between Murdoch and obviously Revenant, and one of them shot a particular target they were trying to save, and the other one decided just to kill it, or kill that person, or enemy, or friendly target, whatever it is. Something went wrong between them, and someone shot first, and that is why there's this incident between Revenant and Murdoch. I think that's pretty cool. I like that. Simple idea, but depending on what the incident was, and who was shot, or whatever happened, that is going to bring more complexity to this connection between Murdoch and Revenant, and I'm guessing we're going to find out more information very soon about that. So expect a lot more videos in the upcoming days, especially tonight. We might be uploading another two videos based on the new hero Revenant, because a lot of information is going to drop on the new hero trailer, and I'm going to stay up to like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., maybe even 8 a.m., when I only have like two hours to maximum three hours of sleep within 48 hours, aka the last two days. Ooh, kind of a risky thing to do, but I got a lot of coffee by my side to help me out through this special occasion of this new hero dropping into Paragon very soon. So we're going to try to bring all that content to the channel as quick as possible. But always, mates, I want to know your thoughts on this video. What do you think about it? Are you interested about the new hero, Revenant? What do you like about him? I really like his pistol and his actual visual look. I can't wait to see his abilities. Obviously, we haven't seen that yet. We've only seen the data mine and linked information parts of those abilities and his kit. 
But altogether, I think this hero is going to become the best ranged hero within the game, or the ranged carry hero within the game. So Revenant is going to have a lot of potential. That is my opinion, but tell me your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. So make sure you did enjoy this video, show us where smash that below like button. Let's try to get 200 likes on this video. If you want to see more powering gaming content and gaming content in general on my channel, all you have to do is share this with your friends and hit the subscribe button to become a mate today. And if you make sure to turn on notifications, you can do so by hitting that little bell button next to the subscribe button to get the chance to become one of the first mates on the channel up to date with my gaming content. And if you guys want to support the channel even further, you can do so by donating to the channel through Patreon, which will help us get new gaming merch and gaming equipment for the channel in order to produce better quality videos on a daily basis. That is the end goal, and hopefully it does work out pretty well. And that is all for this video. Oh, time to go, but don't you worry. We'll be back very soon. Hey, Tad boys, because you ain't seen nothing yet. All the board, the hype train! <laughs>